welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do how I organize my makeup. So I'm gonna walk you through the storage and what I do to keep my makeup slightly organized and arranged, arranged, is that a word? I don't know, just how I keep my makeup tidy. In theory, I don't know, I, I feel like whenever I do my makeup, it's always like a big bomb explosion of just like cosmetics everywhere. But yeah, in theory, I try to keep my makeup organized. So I thought I would walk you through how I do that, the items that I have, and yeah. So before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let me show you how I organize my makeup. Okay guys, let's start from the beginning. So normally, when I'm filming a video, this is what I see. You guys are up here, the tripod, I moved the tripod around, but usually you guys are here. So this is the first bin that I purchased for makeup storage purposes. I got this from Walmart like over a decade ago, I believe this was in the arts and crafts section, but I have found a way to fill it with makeup. So there are two compartments down here. As you can see, there's like, they just pull out like little drawers. And so down here, I put mostly just eyeshadow palettes. So these drawers do hold a lot. There's probably like, sorry, the ring light is giving a bit of like that reflection thing, but it probably stores like three or four, sometimes five um, palettes deep. And then I also put in like some random bits and bobs, like these metallic liquid ones. And then also these um, glitter eyeshadows as well. And so these store just like very well, like one after the other like that. So basically the way that I try to organize my makeup is this top drawer is all um, a foundation. Foundation, BB cream, CC cream, like just complexions. And the bottom one that I showed you, that's all eyeshadows. So here I just have all of my foundations. We have some Dior, some Chanel, some L'Oreal, etc. For me, just keeping things separated like that just makes it more organized, I guess. And then up here, it's so dirty. I've moved, this has moved so many times. I've like, this is duct tape. Like whenever I would move, I would just like put like duct tape around it to keep it closed to like hold the makeup in. Um, so here we have um, some eyeshadows as well. These are like stick ones. So these are the Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier. This is a Chanel one. And then this is an Elf one. And I have two of the jumbo sticks in white. I'm not sure why, but I do. And then, oh, I don't, I still have the um, packaging for these for some reason. I probably kept them because I thought I'm going to take photos with them. You know, I do that sometimes. So I have these. So this is a contour palette. This is the... Um, this, these are part of the Dior Backstage collection. This is the Cool Toned um, eyeshadow palette. I guess I could move these around. Like I don't need to keep them here. Usually I keep things up here or like around this area down here when I wanna make sure that I use them. So if I'm trying to, so if I'm doing a review of a foundation, an eyeshadow palette, whatever, I keep it in front of me to make sure that I keep using it. That's why th these were there right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this eyeshadow palette on top of here. Now a little bit to the left, we have some more items here. We have an extremely dirty beauty blender. Um, we have a hand cream. I always like to keep these around. I keep a hand sanitizer because makeup gets so dirty. Like when you drink foundation, etc. Just like it's like, ugh. so I like to keep this around. So this is the Dior Backstage Foundation. I kept this like around here because I just wanted to make sure that I was using it a lot to make sure that I could do a review. This is a sample of the Subimage de Tan Foundation. I did the review, but since it's a sample, it does expire pretty quickly, so I wanna make sure that I use it up. So I keep it here to remind myself. Then we have just a regular Blistex chapstick. This is a the Sephora brand um, brush cleaner for when you're being lazy and don't wanna clean your brushes. This is a lifesaver. This is a priming oil, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. The reason I keep it there is because I'm worried that if I put it on the side, it'll leak, but it probably won't, I don't know. Anyway, it's right there. It just lives here. And then here is my bin basket. I think I got this from Walmart maybe or Canadian Tire. I don't know, one of those stores. Bin basket of complexion. So this is um, contour, uh, bronzers, and powders, like um, setting powders. So we have the Dior, the Dior um, bronzer here. We have the Benefit Hula bronzer, the Chanel Le Beige. Polystar bronzer, and then the Clinique Chubby Stick. I also have the NYX Contour Stick. Ooh, sorry, that was really close. And then after that, I just have a bunch of setting powders, either like loose setting powders, translucent ones. And then I have this little rack here that I got from Amazon. It just holds um, palettes, Z palettes, whatever you want. 
plug in this here. This is like super old and dusty, but it's just like a little mirror here. So we have the Too Faced Naked Eye Palette. These just like go in very well. Like if you have a lot of palettes, they're great for storage. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, put that like that. And then this is a Z palette with all of these like loose single eyeshadow palettes. Although some of them aren't very well magnetized, so they kind of fall over. But yeah, I don't even know why I keep this right here, but I guess I just started doing that, so I just keep doing it, you know? Okay, sorry that there's like um, glare right here from the ring light, sorry about that. So these storage bins, they're actually like units of three like this. This is like one here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. These I got all off of Amazon and these are like amazing. These are 100% worth their value. This is not sponsored by the way, but I just think that these are amazing. I'll put the link down below in my description box if you guys want to use them. Like I just love them and you can get different colors if you want, but I just love the clear ones because you can just see everything that's inside like so clearly. So this first one is all liquid eyeliners, either liquid like an ink or if they're like a felt tip, but they're just more like, yeah, felt tip, liquid, liners like that and then underneath we have all of like the waterproof um, liners the pencil liners so yeah that's kind of how i differentiated between the two just like liquid liners and then just like regular liners i guess and then this drawer is a very sad and lonely i guess it's like the makeup accessories drawer so we have like little scissors um oh i think this is a sample from like last year it was really good it's like the shiseido um, ink eyeliner, it's like a gel. It's really good, but I don't know if it still works. Um, oh, what is this? Tarte Flush. I think this is like one of the Sephora gifts for your birthday from like five years ago. I could probably just throw it out. Um, I have a little ruler if I want to get like extra precise with my brows. A very dirty um, pencil sharpener. We've got some lash glue. I hate false lashes. I mean, they're stunning on other people, but I hate applying them, so I rarely wear them. And then we have these little magnets here for the Z palette. And then this drawer here is mascaras. Full disclosure, I'm pretty sure all of them, except for like this one are like dried up. I mean, this one's probably still good, but like these are definitely still dry. I don't know why I keep them. I just like to have like a full drawer of mascaras for some reason. Tell me I'm not alone. So this is my drawer of brow products here. So we have brow pencils, brow whiz, brow gels, um, different like clear brow gel, tinted brow gel, brow markers. Uh, I actually recently just purchased two of them. I used to only have four and a lot of the drawers were getting extra full so I got two more. So a lot of the drawers like look a bit empty and I could definitely like double up some of the products but for right now I'm just gonna wait and naturally let it build up until it gets too much and then I'll just buy more storage. So in this bottom drawer here, I actually have the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection. Um, I don't know why, I guess I just like had to put it away somewhere and couldn't figure out where. So these are just the eyeshadow palettes here. These definitely don't belong here. They definitely belong like with the other, other eyeshadow palettes. But yeah, these are the blushes that are actually like highlighters. And yeah, this is just like miscellaneous until forced to do otherwise. Okay, let's move on to a lip product. I have one, two, three, four, five, six um, little drawers of lip products and I like to keep them organized by color. So the first row um, is definitely like orange lipsticks, lip glosses, liquid lips, definitely in the orange family. There's obviously like different shades of orange, like these ones here all look very different, but on me, they all look very orange, so that's how I figured out how to store them. And then this drawer here is all like the purple plummy colors. Um, I guess this one's like kind of a pink one, but I don't know. So like, we'll have like this color here and this color here, and they kind of all look like, yeah, like plummy berries on me, so. And then this drawer is almost like miscellaneous colors. I think, whoops, I think this one is misplaced. Um, so yeah, like, I'm not sure what color, like a brown. Is this a brown, a pinky brown? This is like a golden brown. But yeah, just like kind of browns, golds, miscellaneous. This is like a berry type color, but yeah. I guess like this category is just like very dark. Okay, so moving on. So this drawer is like the drawer of like nudie pinks. So we have like nude lip glosses. Um, some Dior glows. We also had some Dior glows up there too. Um, yeah, just like the nudie lip colors. Liquid lipsticks too. Which is funny because 
I feel like I don't love nude lipsticks. I feel like they're okay, but I definitely like bolder colors. But then I look at this and I'm like, this is pretty full. I guess I do like nude lipsticks then. So down here, this is the drawer of reds, red lipsticks, red lip glosses, etc. Um, some of them, I guess, like kind of look more orange. It kind of depends on my mood. Like if I use this today, maybe I'll put it with the reds, maybe I'll throw it with the um, oranges. It just depends on the mood. So we have some different products here. And then the bottom are the pinks, pink lip glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, popsicle colors. This is one of the long comb shakers. You have to shake it up and it's so pretty. And yeah. So up here where all the glare is, this is my drawer of, so these are all of my concealers that I use in rotation, um, color correctors. This one I regret buying, but oh well, um, yeah. And then I actually have two drawers of blushes. This is actually new. Um, I only had one drawer before, but then like the li they literally just like smushed one on top of the other. So I went ahead and got like more storage. So yeah, we have Chanel, Tarte, <laughs> Mac, um, more Chanel, obviously. So we have some more Mac, more Chanel, um, some Too Faced, some Kiko Milano. And then down here, Oops. These are my primers and bases. So face primers, eye primers, whatever. So we have different ones here. And then we have a drawer of highlighters. So we have like the Dior, um, what is this called? Luminizer? Yeah, that one. Um, we have a MAC one, we have a couple. My friend Christina over at Sea Beauty USA on Instagram, she sent me these. She's so nice. It has a little heart, it's so cute. Um, then we have the Benefit What's, what's Up. I was gonna say What's App, like the app, but it's not, it's What's Up. And then my friend Jen, um, she has also like a, an Instagram for her dog. I'm gonna <laughs> link that down below. She got me this when she was in Scotland. It's really pretty, it looks like little waves. So this is my drawer of highlighters. And down here, we have the drawer of extra lip balms slash lip liners. So I don't know why I have two of these Vaseline with rose, but I do. That went for a face I was like in love with these like lip balms and tints. As you can see, there's a lot of it, but like they're both opened and like both used for some reason. I mean, they're really pretty, but yeah, anyway. And then I have just like a giant drawer of lip liners. So here are my makeup brushes. So I got this off Amazon as well. I just use, I don't even know if this is actually intended for makeup. Maybe it's for like pencils, but whatever. It works perfect for makeup brushes. I also keep my little tweezers just like hanging on the side here. So I try to keep this organized, I guess, sort of. They're all extremely dirty, I apologize. So I guess these are like, these two are more like face brushes. And then this one is just, um, eye brushes here. As you can see by the different colors, I did not clean them today. Sorry. I just keep them on the side here and then when I need a brush, I can just go through and take all that I need. And then I also have an extra hand cream because your hands can never be moisturized enough. I also have a pen for reasons. And then I have a bunch of extra makeup brushes here. I guess they don't really fit. I mean, I guess this can fit. It's like, there we go, it fits. And this is just another makeup brush here too. Um, I guess like these ones don't fit as well. I don't know what to do with them. They're like little and I feel like they get like dusty because they're just like open and like exposed, but whatever. And then I have this bad boy, which is also another item that I picked up at Walmart several years ago, probably a decade ago in like the arts and crafts. I think it even like shows you here. It's supposed to be for like arts and crafts. It's like buttons and sewing things. I'm like haha, jokes on you. It's gonna be makeup. So I have just a bunch more um, eyeshadow palettes here that I couldn't fit in the other drawer. This was my original um, storage for eyeshadow, and then my makeup obsession got out of hand, and I had to get more. So I have a lot of these like single eyeshadows from Mac. I miss when single eyeshadows were popular. I mean, I understand that like I guess there's more value in getting a palette, but like. I don't know, I like getting single eyeshadows, they're cute. So I have some single eyeshadows here. I have one from um, Lise Wetier, this is like a blue one. Um, I have a couple Chanel ones. These are just like the cream eyeshadows. I should use these again. 
Oh, I can't wait for fall. I'm over summer. Sorry. And then I have one from Palladio. I don't think I've ever really used this, but it's just like a really pretty shimmer color. Um, this is a MAC paint pot. Full disclosure, I hate MAC paint pots. I love MAC. I love a lot of their products, but the paint pots do not work for me at all. Like, zero. Um, I have a single eyeshadow here from Tee. So this is just like a really pretty blue. Oh, so we have one from NYX. This is just like... A really hot pink one. It's cute. Um, this is uh, a thousand years old. This is from Smashbox. It's like, I don't think they make them anymore. I think this is like beyond expired. And then another single eyeshadow from NYX. Oh my god, the whole thing just fell apart. Yep. I think I'll just throw this one out. Okay. Ugh. All right, <laughs> moving on. Okay, so we have this little basket here. This is like my basket of like samples and goodies things that I haven't opened yet that I might use for like a giveaway later. Um, just like samples here, samples, 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 a battery, uh, more samples, more samples, more samples, more samples. So, yeah, sometimes I do go through them just to test them out and sometimes I just keep them to add to giveaways. So I try not to use them too much. I mean, I go through sometimes and decide whether or not I want to keep them or give them away. But usually I just keep them like out of reach so I don't use them just in case. All right guys, that's it. This is how I organize my makeup. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks. Let me know down in the comments. What are your favorite um, storage units, storage bins? What do you use? Do you use these items that I've talked about from Amazon or do you use other ones like Tupperware or whatever? Let us know down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. Let me know down in the comments what makeup looks or tutorials or reviews you'd like to see next. And this is all I have for you guys for today, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.